How does the Chinese BYD's premier electric car Denza N7 fare on its self-driving technology? Let's find out. Automatic parking is not some cutting-edge tech for the Chinese cars anymore, but how Denza N7 handles complicated parking spots really surprises me. Take this spot at the end of the road, for example. It starts by driving into a more spacious area and reverse all the way in. That's something I wouldn't have thought in the first place. How to activate valet parking is really easy too. You find a spot, put car in park, press brake, select the spot on screen, take your belongings, and get out of the car. Denza N7's got 13 cameras, 12 ultrasonic radars, 5mm wave radars, and 2 lidars. Let's see how good its self-driving ability is. First, I was driving in the city of Shenzhen. Well, technically, it was. As you can see, it was switching lanes very smoothly with no sudden movements or dangerous decisions. Now we're on this two-way single lane, and there is a car stopped on the side of the road. Denza N7 avoided it with no hesitation. Moving forward, the car in front of me slowed down and wanted to U-turn. Denza N7 stopped behind it and was making decisions. Normally, it would accelerate and go around it, but N7 saw that there are three cars and a bike coming from behind with its camera on the rear end. So it waited until it's all clear and safe for it to go. Now that's cool. What if you're driving on a road with no lines? No problem either. See? Not only it can still go forward, but it also sees that there is a construction site on the side of the road and avoided it so smoothly. Finally, large curve ridge turning. It can always stay in the middle of the road accurately without shifting to the sides. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate the all-new Denza N7's D-Pilot 300 smart driving system?